Welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. I wanted to show some of the beginners out there what a bino ready telescope looks like. Uh, there's been some questions on astronomyforum.net about bino viewing and I wanted them to see a stellar view 80 millimeter BV bino viewer ready telescope all set up and ready to go outside to view the night sky. So here is my 80 millimeter stellar view bino viewer style set up on a teleview telepod mount. Teleview telepod mount. You can just google that and find out what that is but you'll get a good look at it here in a minute. So let's kind of walk up there and let's see if I can keep this thing in pretty good focus and let you take a look at this uh, Bino Viewer Ready Telescope and what we mean by that when we say that, okay? When we say Bino Viewer Ready. Well, as you'll notice, there's a strange extension on this scope right here. All right, and what Vic has done at Stellar View is he has taken what formerly was uh, a stellar view uh, 80 millimeter 9D which is just a long tube refractor and he has cut off that refractor right here and shortened it and supplies a little extension tube that goes into the scope if you want to use it for regular observing traditional observing using an eyepiece right here, okay? So, the configuration that you see right now, let me back off and show you that again, alright, is in standard viewing mode, standard viewing mode with an eyepiece. And you can see I've got a diagonal in there, a two inch diagonal in uh, this 80 millimeter scope. One of the other neat features is uh, the dew shield, you know, extends on out to help protect the lens against dew. So right now it is configured to do regular observing under a night sky using normal eyepieces, either one and a quarter inch or two inch. And the mount that it's setting on is a little uh, Teleview telepod, as you can see here, and the controls are nice and smooth. So you can point this and track objects fairly well. It's got a little adjustment knob here where you can loosen it or tighten it to make the motion the way you want it to be. Okay, and it's also got a little red dot finder uh, that's sold by Vic at Stellar View mounted on the top of it. Just a traditional red dot finder. So, kind of a neat rig, very portable. You could pick this whole thing up and walk outside with it and start viewing basically immediately and get some really good views of the night sky with this particular uh, telescope rig uh, set up in alt as mode on this teleview telepod. Okay, now I want to show you what makes this a bino viewer ready telescope. So we're going to come in here and what we're going to do first is we're going to take the uh, diagonal off of this thing like so. And notice this tube unscrews. So this tube basically uh, un either unscrews on some models or on this one, it's just simply held in there with two thumb screws as you see here. There's one on one side, one on the other. And you just loosen those thumb screws and take out the extension tube. Now you turn right around and put the diagonal right back in it. Tighten up your thumb screws. 
so your diagonal doesn't fall right back out. And basically, we are now in Bino Viewer mode. Let me back off, give you a shot of that. Okay. There you go. So the tube has been shortened to compensate for the uh, distance that the Bino Viewer takes up. And if you tried to use it in the normal configuration with the extension on there you could not come to focus but in the shorter configuration as it is now you can easily come to focus uh, and uh, you don't need any uh, what's called optical correcting adapters OCA's or anything or Barlow's or anything to come to focus when you have a bino ready telescope that's been cut. The kind of neat thing is if you have a refractor of 80 or 90 millimeter you can send these off to various places on the internet and they will cut the tube and put some threads in there and you can actually convert a, a regular refractor into a bino ready uh, refractor at very low cost usually under a hundred dollars so if you have a refractor that you want to convert, you can jump on the internet and start posting some questions on astronomyforum.net and we'll direct you to some folks that will take your scope and turn it into a Bino Viewer Ready Telescope. So with that said, I'd like to wish you clear skies. And remember to keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night. See y'all later.